Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers, so banking and general for week number 37. This is from 7th to 13th September. LCR looks at the time horizon of 30 days, whereas NSFR looks at the time horizon of 1 year. The answer here is 1 year and I would like to tell you a few points about this. LCR is a liquidity coverage ratio that is under the stress scenario in the banking system, how much funds are required that is about LCR liquidity coverage ratio which looks at the time horizon of 1 month or 30 days whereas net stable funding ratio that is the funding required in the banking system to run the operations safely for a period of 1 year. So, capital adequacy ratio liquidity coverage ratio, net stable funding ratio, these three are as per the Basel guidelines and Reserve Bank of India notified for the Indian banking system, please do not forget. Look into the next one, IMGC is the first to introduce a financial product to mitigate the risk taken by the banks and housing finance companies. Now, when the loans are granted by the banks as well as housing finance companies, the risk is taken by the banks and the housing finance companies. But now, through this mortgage corporation, part of the risk will be transferred by the banks or housing finance companies to IMGC. So, part of the risk will be transferred to them and because of which, the customer can get more loan with the less down payment because part of the risk is transferred to the mortgage corporation. Recently, ICICI Bank launched home loan in association with this IMGC and IMGC stands for India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation. IMGC is India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation and it is the consortium between Asian Development Bank then IFC, please do not forget IFC is the organ of World Bank Group, National Housing Bank as well as Genworth. These four came together to start this India Mortgage Guarantee Corporation where the part of the risk will be transferred by the banks and financial institutions that is housing finance companies to the mortgage corporation so that customers can get more loan or you can say customers can get loans at a lesser down payment. Recently, Hurun report on India Rich List 2015. All of you are well aware about uh, Forbes. Forbes magazine publishes uh, Rich List. Recently, this uh, Hurun magazine also started uh, publishing the Rich List. This is the luxury publishing group actually. This is based in Shanghai in China. This I think this is the fourth year. This Hurun published the rich list and as usual, Mukesh Ambani continue to be the richest person in the country and at present, India has got 124 dollar billionaires. That means, the persons who are having assets worth 1 billion dollars and above there are 124 at present and if you look at 2012 figures, in 2012 only 59 dollar billionaires were there. Dollar billionaire means the person who is having assets more than around 6500 crores of rupees. 1 billion dollars means as per the present exchange rate, it comes to around 6500 crores of rupees. So, the persons having properties worth 6500 crores of rupees and above are considered as dollar billionaires and in the country at present there are 124 dollar billionaires and increase from 59 in 2012. That means within 3 years the number of dollar billionaires doubled in the country. Second important point to note is uh, India has got uh, 296 high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals are the persons who have assets 
above rupees 1600 crores of rupees or you can say 250 million dollars so at present 296 high net worth individuals are there in this country and out of 296 hnis 8 are women and indu jain of uh, times of india group uh, is uh, leading the list followed by savitri jindal when it comes to women's category right in 2010 machil fake encounter case six army men got uh, life imprisonment name the state the state is jammu and kashmir which is uh, frequently into the news because of the committed excesses by the army persons in the year 2010 what happened army men took uh, three persons from a village Later on, they shot them dead and dubbed them as infiltrators from Pakistani land. So as to get rewards and awards, they have done that. And subsequently, military court. Why military court came into picture? Because when army men commit some excesses or atrocities, they have to be convicted in military courts only. So, court martial it is properly known as. So, in military court, this uh, six army men got the life imprisonment. So, this is another case to show that army is committing excesses in volatile Jammu and Kashmir region. In the elections held in Singapore, ruling people's action party retained power and the number of elected members of parliament in Singapore are 89. There are 89 elected members of parliament in Singapore, out of which the People's Action Party got 83, a massive mandate. And please don't forget, this party is in power since 1959. And the Prime Minister is Lee Sin Lung. Lee Sin Lung is the Prime Minister of Singapore, please don't forget. In view of International Literacy Day, on September 8, all of you are well aware, International Literacy Day is being celebrated on September 8. In the year 1965, UNESCO conceived this idea and for the first time this was celebrated in the year 1966, UNESCO nominated this date and this year the theme is Literacy and Sustainable Societies. For this year, the theme is Literacy and Sustainable Societies. And let us come back to this question. MPCI launched nationwide e-payment literacy workshop. Increasing the financial literacy of the persons is the need of the hour. People are not able to differentiate between what is bank deposit, what is mutual fund, what is investment in equities, what is the debt. So, Increasing the financial literacy of the persons is very important. Keeping that in mind, in view of International Literacy Day on September 8th, this National Payments Corporation of India launched a nationwide e-payment literacy workshop. Please don't forget. Name the city where an international terminal was inaugurated in the airport by the Prime Minister. It is Chandigarh Airport. And the Prime Minister inaugurated newly built terminal in Chandigarh airport. Looking to the next one, from October 1, BSNL will offer minimum broadband speed of 2 Mbps. BSNL will offer minimum broadband speed of 2 Mbps, raising it from 512 Kbps. And around 1 crore broadband subscribers are set to benefit because of this and BSNL is offering at no extra cost, please don't forget. And it is a part of our national telecom policy also, so as to offer speeds of 2 Mbps at least to the internet subscribers. Look into the next one, 10th World Hindi Summit was recently held at Bhopal, the capital city of Madhya Pradesh, right, look into the next one. Chairman of 7th Pay Commission is Justice Ashok Kumar Mathur and I would like to tell you a few points about Pay Commission. The salaries of central government employees are revised once in 10 years to the establishment of Pay Commission 
and not only the salaries of the employees the pensionary benefits of uh, retired employees are also revised once in 10 years and this uh, seventh pay commission is headed by justice ashok kumar madhur and uh, two more members vivek ray and dr ratin roy these two are the members and the chairman is ashok kumar madhur and it is at to give recommendations it the short time or to december 2015 and please don't forget recommendations to be implemented from 1st january 2016 for the central government employees as well as retired persons right and every 6 months dearness allowance for the employees and dearness relief for the pensioners will be announced by the central government that is different so every 6 months dearness allowance as well as the dearness relief for the central government employees and pensioners is announced by the central government based on consumer price index for industrial workers please don't forget so that is different and the revision of these salaries once in 10 years is different two britons were killed when a chartered toy train derailed in kalka shimla section recently they one derailment occurred in kalka shimla section people were going on tour most of them were britons and two british nationals were killed in the accident and over speeding was a prima facie cause for the accident and i would like to go into little detail about this kalka shimla section why this kalka shimla line was constructed it is part of a world heritage site please don't forget and shimla became the summer capital of british in the year 1864 first point and it also became headquarters of british army in india and shimla is at an elevation of around 2200 meters and Britishers constructed this line as narrow gauge line with gauge of 2 feet 6 inches and this line was commissioned in the year 1903 right look into the next one JCB is the payment network of Japan please don't forget uh, similarly Union Pay is the payment network of uh, China all of you are well aware about uh, Visa Mastercard discover india's payment network is a rupee platform similarly china's union pay and japan's jcb all of you are well aware about the jcb missionary or earth moving equipment and jcb is the name also for payment mechanism or you can say payment network of japan please don't forget the largest onion producing state in the country is maharashtra and please don't forget asia's largest onion market is situated in lasalgaon in maharashtra near nashik vivo chidambaram or port trust is otherwise known as cuticorin port trust the other name for cuticorin town is putukudi please don't forget and why i ask this question is tamil nadu government is coming up or planning an industrial corridor between madurai and putukudi or you can say madurai and tutikorin the distance of around 150 kilometers tamil nadu government wants to develop it as industrial corridor in southern tamil nadu combating hunger and achieving food security this is the famous book written by ms swaminathan and please don't forget his other book from green to evergreen revolution ms swaminathan is the famous agricultural scientist of the country associated with green revolution of 1960s along with the norman borlaug please don't forget set to be the country's largest technology incubator t hub was inaugurated by ratan tata in hyderabad recently telangana government came up with the largest t hub or you can say the startup companies it is incubator for startup companies 800 startup companies can start operations in that 800 startup companies startup companies means new companies small companies one man companies budding companies who want to establish some company 
they are startups. So, 800 startups can start operations in this uh, T hub and it is considered to be the country's largest technology incubator. It was uh, inaugurated by Ratan Tata recently and it was started by Telangana government in association with uh, prestigious institutions, Indian School of Business, Triple IT Hyderabad and Nalsar University of Law. The committee which gave report on ORVP only for academic sake, I asked this question previously, parliamentary panel Koshiari committee gave report on ORVP, please don't forget. It gave report in 2011, Koshiari committee is the parliamentary committee, 10 member parliamentary panel previously which gave report on one rank, one pension, right? Anil Pandlahari became the first Indian to qualify for the prestigious President's Cup. Name the sport, golf. President's Cup is the golf tournament played between American team and the rest of the world excluding Europe. President's Cup is the golf tournament played between America's team as well as rest of the world excluding Europe. When the golf tournament is played between America and Europe, it is the Ryder Cup. So, please differentiate between President's Cup and Ryder Cup. Right? And Anirban Lahari for the first time representing rest of the world and this is being held once in two years and during this year 2015, it is going to be held in South Korea, probably the place is Incheon in South Korea. Name the cricketer who launched online real estate platform targeting non-resident Indians. Famous Australian cricketer Steve War recently started online real estate platform. Which of the following will be the partner and co-investor in IAF? Last week we discussed India Aspiration Fund was started with 2000 crores and Government of India started it, but the partner and the co-investor is the Life Insurance Corporation of India. And I would like to remind you, Mudra Bank started with corpus of rupees 20,000 crores. Second one is the Smile. CP Make in India loan for enterprises started with rupees 10,000 crore. India Aspiration Fund started with rupees. 2000 crore. So, please uh, don't forget these figures. Which of the following has got a corpus of rupees 20,000 crore? Just now I told you. Mudra Bank was uh, started with corpus of rupees 20,000 crore and credit guarantee corpus of uh, rupees 3000 crore. Please don't forget. Name the country whose credit rating was uh, downgraded from investment grade to junk grade. Recently, the credit rating agency downgraded the economy of Brazil to junk grade. One is investment grade, the next one is junk grade. There are several categories given by the credit rating agencies. World famous credit rating agencies are Standard & Poor are properly known as S&P, Moody's, Fitch Ratings. These give investment ratings to companies, not only companies, to governments also. And recently, credit rating agency downgraded Brazil from investment grade to junk grade. All is not well with Brazil. Union cabinet approved 100% FDI in white label ATMs through automatic route. There are two ways of getting foreign direct investment, not only the percentage stipulation, but also there are two ways that is automatic route and approval route. Automatic route means they can directly invest in the country, but approval route means they have to take approval of FIPB or Foreign Investment Promotion Board. Foreign Investment Promotion Board is under the Ministry of Finance, please don't forget. And in this case, 100% FDA is allowed in white label ATMs through automatic route. And please don't forget, the white label ATM for the first time was introduced in the country by Tata Communications and the brand name is IndyCash, please don't forget. 
five phase pole schedule is announced for Bihar and the three fronts are uh, fighting Bharatiya Janata Party front second front is uh, between uh, JDU and RJD and some other parties third front is uh, by Samajwadi Party along with the five more parties so three fronts are fighting the Bihar elections and the main contest will be between the front uh, led by Bharatiya Janata Party and the second front primarily led by Nitish Kumar and Lalu Prasad and here 38 constituencies are reserved for scheduled cash and only two constituencies are reserved for scheduled tribes because the scheduled tribe population in the state is uh, very less after the bifurcation of uh, Charkand. 7th India Puppetry Festival Putul Yatra is held from 10th to 14th September. This is uh, piloted by Sangeet the Natak Academy. Please don't forget. Please look into this picture and the Sangeet Natak Academy piloted this uh, puppetry festival. Global Investors Meet was recently held in Tamil Nadu and uh, several companies committed investments. Adani Group committed uh, 15,000 crores of investment and uh, solar energy firm Sun Edison committed around uh, 12,000 crores of investment. 107 people were killed when the crane collapsed on Makkah's Grand Mosque recently. The news reports say that it collapsed because of heavy winds and the actual name of Grand Mosque is Masjid Al Haram. This is the largest mosque in the world. Look into the next question. Name the state which imposed minimum educational qualification for contesting elections to Panchayat Raj institutions is Haryana. And more about this we learnt in the lecture class of this week. Before going to the next question, I would like to tell you Haryana is the second state after Rajasthan which imposed minimum educational qualification for contesting in the Panchayat Raj institutions. So look at the last question. Higher education and skill development guarantee scheme was recently launched by Delhi government and no collateral security, no margin money and one year moratorium after the completion of education will be given. That means after the completion of education to start repayment or to start servicing of loan one year moratorium will be given and repayment period through EMIs will be for a maximum period of 15 years and maximum loan is rupees 10 lakhs. This was recently launched by Delhi government. With this let us conclude questions and answers. General and banking have a nice day. Thank you.